Hey there YouTube, Tap Tap here. Today we're going to let's play a Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM hack called Mario Adventure. And it's actually a total conversion, basically, of the original game. It's still got Mario and everything, but they do quite a few pretty neat changes. One thing, you can go to just about any level at the start, well any world. And it actually has a save feature. Which is sort of weird, because I don't think the original game... No, the original game definitely didn't have a save feature. But this game does, so you can see I it saved... I had went through the first couple levels just to make sure everything worked and stuff. And it saved, I guess, my coins and my... I think that's my total time there at the bottom. And because this is a Mario ROM hack, I'm going to be using save states and stuff. Uh, in part because I just decided I'd make it easy on myself so I could just not worry about, you know, not dying or anything and just whatever. But I've also never actually beat the original Super Mario Bros. 3 because I didn't have a original NES as a kid. I just had the Super Nintendo. And I did get the remake of Super Mario Bros. 3 for Game Boy Advance, but I lent that game to my sister, and I haven't seen the game for like three years, so yeah, I doubt I'm ever going to finish that one. But, ooh, what's in here? Oh, it's the shoe. Yeah, you get this in World 7 of the original game, don't you? I noticed that he did some stuff with the toad houses and stuff. And Mario turned green. The toad houses are kind of interesting. It seems like it's the original game, but yeah. He charges you money. How do I open? There we go. We got the whistle, apparently. Or flute, or whatever that is. So let's see... Oop. Let's see what the whistle does. Okay, it's its own level, I guess. It's weird because in the original game it let you skip a few worlds or something. I... Part of the reason I never finished the original game was, when I was a kid, I never looked up cheat codes or anything like that on the internet, or strategy guides and stuff, but, so I never knew about the warp pipes in Mario 1, and I never knew about the whistle in this game, so I never got a chance to beat them because the they didn't have sa uh, game saves, so... And I could never, I was never any good, so I couldn't beat it in the like, an hour or two. So I just never beat it. But since I'm basically cheating, I'll definitely beat this game. And another feather, or a uh, leaf. You know, the transformation items never really make sense. I mean,. A leaf turns you into a raccoon, and a cape gives you- or a feather gives you a cape. I don't really get where the logic is coming from there. But I guess mushrooms making you bigger doesn't make too much sense, but I guess it's a... Uh, what is it? It's an Alice in Wonderland sort of reference, isn't it? Let's kill these hammer bros. I was always terrible against these guys. They're just way too random. And I've never I've never been too much of a too good at platforming. I see a hidden block, I think. Oh, I guess not. Well. Okay then. Can I just leave? No, I can just die though. 
Thank you, Fire Brother, for killing me. Whoa. No, thank you. Ooh, leaf. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and you'll notice there are weather effects in this game. That's another thing the original game didn't have that this does. And I've seen it can even put, uh, it snows in some levels sometimes. And it actually changes the physics of the level so it's all slippery. Even the original level isn't. Ooh, and there's a big item box. Oh, it's another shoe. And multiple bullet bills. Oh, oh. For a second there, I thought that was a hidden coin block trap. It's only half of a hidden coin block trap, I guess. Yep. Stupid mini Goombas. Yeah, you go kill yourself. That's a that's a good idea. But not you, Mario. You don't kill yourself. Well, it's fine then, Mario. You know, I don't need this, Mario. You're kidding me. You can probably see why I never beat the original Super Mario Bros. 3. <laughs> but, oh. Yay for coin blocks. Oh, it's not a complete trap. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. I don't even remember seeing that guy in the original Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay, can we get out of here now? No, we can't. Yeah, I really do not like those hidden coin blocks, but I don't think anybody does except people that make the games. They're the hacks. And that turtle mini boss is showing up at the end of like every level. I guess we don't get those cards, the that mini game you could play in the original where you get one ups. You match the three cards. Whoa, what is it's a shy guy that shoots spikes. And it hurts. And am I stuck? I'm s Oh wait. It's a white block. Can I go down? I think you can go down where if you hold down on a white block, right? This is a white block. Yep. Now we're behind the level. This is yet another thing I didn't know when I was playing the... <laughs> Thanks, hidden coin block. I hate you too. And I fell for the same thing again. Okay. Where is that stupid thing? Fool me four times and shame on me. And I forgot what I was saying before the hidden coin block kept killing me repeatedly, and I keep thinking I can jump on that guy. There we go. Because you can always jump on the shy guys. I guess he has like a spiky thing on his head though. Ooh, mushroom. I definitely need that. Yeah, what on earth is that guy supposed to be anyway? I don't remember anything that throws spike balls at you. But maybe it's something in World 8, because I never did finish it. Geronimo! Mushroom. Good. Let's kill the turtle. And you look pretty bad with this background. Your outline is all terrible. And with that, I'll end the video. We'll see you in the next episode.